Sir. Next. Take the above problem. Find fixed portion of selling expenses. One rupee is a variable cost per unit. Number of unit for the first one, 100. 100 into 1 is equal to 100. Out of selling expenses, 200 rupees. 100 rupees variable cost and then remaining 100 rupees fixed cost. If I'm going to apply the same for the second one, selling expenses totally 300. Out of which 1 rupee is the variable cost per unit. 1 into 200 units is equal to 200. Balance out of which 300 is equal to how much? 100. Therefore, fixed portion of the selling expenses is how much? 100. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Purnida? Any doubts? Next. What are the next one? Yeah. Particulars. Production units 150 and 200. Production overhead 1. What about the production overhead 1? 4 rupees and 3 rupees. Yeah. Then, production overhead 2. With respect to production overhead 2, how much the cost can now? 2 rupees and okay, 2 and 2. So, find which one is the fixed cost. Whether production overhead 1 or production overhead 2 or 1 and 2 or none of the above. Per unit cost given. One per unit two. cost going to vary mean that costs are called fixed cost. fixed cost. Per unit cost remain constant means variable therefore between production overhead 1 and production overhead 2 which one is the fixed cost? One. Production overhead 1. Therefore, production overhead 1 is called what? Fixer in nature. And the production overhead 2 is the variable nature. Is it right or not? Hello? So, fixed cost is option A, production overhead 1. Take the above problem, find it. Find out the which one is the variable cost. Which one is the variable cost? Okay. Production overhead 2. It's purely based on the definition only they played. After all, to understand this question, you have to remember definition of the variable cost, definition of the fixed cost, and the definition of semi-variable cost. So answer for the second one is in a pump. B, yeah? So production overhead 2 is the variable. Now production overhead 2 is the variable cost. Is it right? Yes, Next. So, look at the next problem. Yes, From the above table, find out which one is a semi variable cost. Not one is fixed cost, another one is variable cost, none of the above. Okay? Only two elements only available in this question. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. If partly fixed, partly variable, then only it is called a semi variable cost. From the above table, find. Total fixed cost they are asking. Am I right? What about the total fixed cost? Per unit cost 4. Number of units 150 means 4 into 150 is equal to 600. 600. Similarly, second one 3 into 200 is equal to 600. therefore fixed cost comes to how much? 600. Are you comfortable? So option C is the correct answer. Any difficulty? Within less time, you have to participate in the exam. Right? <clears throat> so, option C is the correct answer. Shall we go to the next problem? Yes, 